Wild tracks first. Man, I keep meaning to get a second webcam just for the console. You know? You know? Is it from the perspective of the console? Yes, <laughs> it's from the perspective of the console. Here we go. Nineteen ninety four. Speed tracks. Oh, we're definitely playing a battle tracks. Huh. Player one. Ooh. I'm definitely gonna be the one that looks like it belongs in the uh carpool lane. Oh, you're not the Alright. You gotta you gotta press the button. Farm. Toxic desert. Toxic desert. We're playing this uh, on the Super Famicom. <laughs> Michi, you're still off the camera. <laughs> uh, oh man, is steering ever slow. Wow. Oh man! What? Do you, what do you, how do you, oh man! My car just exploded into a bunch of parts, and then put back together. I made of Lego. Oh, wow! This, this game is just one big oversteer. What do you think? Just... Jump? Oh yeah, you can jump! Oh, look at that! There's like four oh, pixels in the Yeah. There's like four pixels ahead of me to show me uh, what I need to be doing next. Ah! <laughs> I don't know what those boulders are doing right in the middle of the racetrack. You'd think that they'd, uh... No, I don't that. Yep, <laughs> I think so too. What are you guys playing? Playing Wild Tracks with what? an X. These tracks... are pretty wild. I'd say. They're as wild as a track game. I wonder what the jumping is for. Maybe so you can pass people without turning? Because boy, are you ever not gonna be able to change lanes to get around them. Also, what uh what size car is this racetrack designed for? I feel like you could fit at least five of these cars wide. Who's winning? Did I just turn into a different car? Yeah, we definitely need more cameras on the show. One pointed at the console. Lose. Uh, lose. Uh. Play a race. <laughs> they don't give us that option. <laughs> no. Okay. Uh, change. Sure. to go back to the... Hang on, hang on. Yeah. Weird menus. One camera pointed at the console. Uh, 
one camera pointed at each controller, and one camera for each of our faces. What? <laughs> Stunt tracks. All you need to do is ask the NSA to help you out. Ah. Input your name. YRW is about right. Oh, it's only single player? Me try. You get to ice dance. All the stars. Some of them are purple and some of them are yellow, unless it's just the lighting. What does this music remind me of? This is actually some pretty impressive uh, vector work for the Super Famicom, eh? Like, Star Fox had that a bit, but wasn't Star Fox right at the uh, the end of the lifespan of the console? Let me look that up. Uh, Wikipedia, Star Fox, and Wikipedia. Wild Tracks. Good. <laughs> ZX Spectrum. Almost. We still have to play for six minutes. Star Fox was on the ZX Spectrum. This is a different game. This has to be a different game. Yeah, it's a different game. Never mind. It's weird that it's got the same name and it's also a uh, first person ship shooter. Anyway, where was I? Wild Tracks? Which was called Stunt Race FX in North America. There it is, yep. Alright, so Shigeru Miyamoto on good, uh, as producer. Um, it's a first party Nintendo game. and Star Fox was 1993. Alright, yeah. So this definitely uses some technology from Star Fox. Uh, that was not present before that. Which is why in Mario Kart you don't actually have an animated model of uh, a car. You just have like static sprite. I mean, I guess I can't say static because when you turn it will uh, switch to like one quarter angle, three quarters angle. Um, if they could only like change the, just bring the uh, the camera angle, you know. If you could see more of what's ahead of you, uh, it feels like I gotta go like this to see over the road. The car is like taking up most of your view. Oh, you gotta jump to get that one. Oh, no, you can just see them through objects. There's no occlusion. That one's worth five points, but I think the uh, I think the scoreboard keeps track of uh, stars and not points, so I don't know what the point system could mean. Ooh, quick, do some uh, uh, Tony Hawk tricks. Do 
like a, a blind um, nose grind. Um, you know that all noses are blind? Yeah, <laughs> blind nose. <laughs> You need to, uh, you need to switch to a lower gear there <laughs> to go up the hill. But... <laughs> oh. I don't think, I don't think the game knows how we do. <laughs> Rockfield sounds like it would be a lot of fun. Oh, and another camera on the baby. Definitely a, baby, a dedicated baby cam. Baby cam! Yeah. I, I want it to be a baby's eye view. <laughs> baby's eye view. Well, the music is pretty cheerful. I think Star Fox had to have special hardware in the cartridge. Uh, uh, Nintendo's first... Star Fox was Nintendo's first game to use 3D polygon graphics. Uh, it uh, accomplished this by being the first ever game to use the Super FX graphics acceleration. I betcha that's why Wild Tracks in North America is called Stunt Race FX. Um, it was the second game to use a 3D-centric Super FX-powered GSU-1. And Star Fox was the first graphics acceleration coprocessor. The uh, complex display of three-dimensional mo models with polygons was still new and uncommon in console video games, and the game was much hyped as a result. So, Shigeru Miyamoto was the producer for Star Fox and Wild Tracks. Um... <laughs> Wairudo Torakuso. Kusu. Torakusu. Torakusu. <laughs> I'm not making this up. Torakuso. 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 Alright. Okay, let's, uh, let's move on. Guys, Michi brought me cake. Michi is the cake for everybody. Next game? Yeah. That's what Except it is. that I'm so fat. Because I have a baby strap to my chest. There's a tiny little bear in here. Baby strap. But... Strap to my chest. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you for uh, joining us for Wild Tracks. Also known as Stunt Race FX.